Good afternoon, Baltimore. This is Mike Hammersmith, The Hammer, coming at you live from Baltimore Yacht Basin, where we are feeling the full force effects of Hurricane Irene. Yes, if you take a look out behind me, you'll see that we're experiencing zero to 0.5 inch swells here at the Yacht Basin at the Patapsco River. Uh, we're also ex expected to see about uh, 0 0.5 inches of rain over the next one to two hours. So you can expect many panicked city residents going out to local grocery stores and big box stores like Target or Walmart where they're in desperate search of high need items like fingernail clippers and dryer sheets. Uh, I'm getting a storm center update. Just one moment, please. Okay, this is it. It's official. Experts feel that this may be the end of the world, at least for the eastern seaboard, where last week we already experienced one earthquake in Virginia, and now Hurricane Irene, which actually, if you didn't know this before, has an 80% chance of triggering a magnitude on the Richter scale 1. That's right, 1.0. Uh, earthquake in Virginia as they continue to rebuild we can only wish them the best down there in Virginia uh, actually let's see we have uh, a, a local boat owner here uh, this is Rose Smithers uh, who owns ho owns a sailboat here in the marina Rose can you tell us how you're dealing with uh, uh, Hurricane Irene here uh, oh, just one second Rose I'm, I'm getting another storm center update uh, yeah just go you're gonna have to just Go back, uh, go back over there, Rose. Yep, now farther, keep going. Okay, so this just in from the Storm Center, folks. Uh, uh, okay, yes, Darren Sharper is one of the hardest hitting safeties in the league, believe it or not, you know, uh, how about that? So, yes, we'll continue to monitor Hurricane Irene on the approach here, ready to pound the East Coast and the Mid-Atlantic. Back to you in the studio, John.